So next we're going to go ahead and set these catch basins up. I've already taken out the screws that hold the grate in place. We've got to set these up for a double outlet. <coughs> little barbs, they snap in, little nipples. Twist and hold it. Locks it in place. Do the other side. has graded edges, little nipples, slots for it. Push it in, twist it, make sure it's good and tight. Same thing on this side. Good and tight. Good. And our first one still has screws in it. <laughs> so you pull those out with your handy dandy drill. Pop off your lid. This one we're setting up to be at the inlet line, so it's got a cap on the end. You saw me pushing them off. I'm going to leave the cap on. This actually goes on the outside. You could put it on the inside, but it goes on the outside. Snap it in place. Twist and hold it. Now we're ready to put our grates back on. Put our screws in. And of course, we'll do continue doing this on the other three. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let me show you how this little $15 catch basin will save you thousands of dollars over installing a gravel perforated pipe system, which is known as a French drain. Okay, first let's review what a French drain actually is. A French drain is perforated pipe surrounded by an aggregate, whether it be gravel or some people like to use the easy flow. I like to use the easy flow. I think it works great. But it, it is an, a perforated pipe with an aggregate around it. And you can use slotted pipe or a pipe that has holes in the bottom of it because as water rises up in the ground, it will go through that aggregate into the pipe and be carried away. So when it rains really hard, I mean really hard, water comes down onto the ground and of course it goes down through the ground. But once that water table begins to rise, so now the ground is full, it's like a swimming pool. You can only put so much in, it starts to fill up. So once that groundwater rises, it rises up through the gravel into the perforated pipe and the pipe carries that water away. Let's take a look at what a catch basin does. Here's three different kinds. We've got my favorite, this little six by six round catch basin. What is a catch basin? A catch basin is exactly what the name says. This catches debris. You can see this little space down here underneath. This is where the discharge pipe comes out but the debris sits down in the bottom. So you put the grate on the top. This goes in the low spot of the yard. When it rains hard, all that water pours into the basin. It just pours into the basin and the pipe carries it away. Don't forget, you must have a discharge. You cannot run this into to a dry well. You cannot run this underground and let it dead end. It must discharge to daylight. So if you've got a good downhill run, simple. If you don't, you're going to need a sump pump. And I have lots of videos to explain that. But we're talking about catch basins today and how this little $15 basin will save you tens of thousands of dollars. Next basin. This is a nine by nine catch basin. It's a little bit bigger. It costs a whole lot more. This basin costs, this, this basin costs about $50. This basin less than 15. They're exactly the same. You might say, oh, this one's bigger. Not really. When it rains hard, I mean really rains hard, this water coming across your ground into your low spot is gonna fill up this catch basin like that. So it doesn't really matter how big the catch basin is, right? What matters is 
the discharge. And we're using four inch pipe. That's pretty standard in the industry. You can run six inch pipe, that's fine. But it's still, the discharge is what's making this drain work. Let's look at a 12 by 12. Let's go ahead and put the adapter on there. Notice it's the same adapter, exactly the same. This is a 12 by 12 basin and it's bigger than the nine by nine and it's bigger than the six by six. Does it work any better? No. As it rains hard, I mean really hard, you've got this in your low spot, water pours across the ground, fills up this basin like that. And what makes it work is your discharge. So why is this, this is $65 by the way. So what's the difference here? What's the actual difference? The actual difference, let me put the other adapter on there. The actual difference between these two basins is not really the size of the basin, but how much lower you can go underground. Can you see the difference? The 12 by 12, it's about an inch and a half, maybe two inches deeper, okay? The nine by nine. Now let's take a look at a six by six as compared to the 12 by 12. Can you see how much deeper the 12 by 12 is? Okay, so does that make sense? In other words, if you've got a deeper line, yeah, you could put a big 12 by 12 on there to get down to that depth, or <laughs> you could use this really great six inch round catch basin and put an adapter on it to any height that you want. Put your grate back on the top, snaps in place, and it's done. So you can cut this six inch pipe to any level you want. Remember, it makes no difference how big the basin is, what, what's important is how big is your discharge. And these are all the same. They call this four inch, but they're actually about three inches. So maybe three and a half, but they're all exactly the same. Take a look. Take a look at those two discharges. Can you see any difference there? They're exactly the same, exact diameter on the outside. This fits the 12 by 12, it also fits the nine by nine, but it's the same as a little six by six. So if you really wanna put a great catch basin system in, you can put all these catch basins, any, any one you want, but I would suggest that you use this six by six. This is kinda of tight, so hold on. So if you really wanna solve that problem, uh, a very cost effective way is you could put your six by six this is an atrium grate it just what that means is that it helps as debris floats across the ground maybe it's in a, a bed that has mulch or straw that tends to build up so it can it can hold more debris and water can still come into the system as it works great.